Welcome to Two Projects. In this video, we are going to explain about the project, which is SSCLNet. It is a self-supervised, contrastive loss-based pre-trained network for brain MRI classification. Introduction of the project: The human brain is a crucial organ in the human body. It is susceptible to various abnormalities, with the brain tumors being a notable concern. This project addresses the impact of brain tumors on the health and focuses on their detection and classification. Brain tumors are broadly categorized as benign or malignant, and further subtypes include pituitary, meningioma, and glioma. The health implications of such abnormalities underscore the need for accurate diagnostic tools and methodologies. Traditional diagnostic approaches for brain tumors involve invasive methods like biopsy or non-invasive techniques such as magnetic resonance imaging, which is MRI, positron emission tomography, and computer tomography. Among these, MRI is preferred for its ability to provide detailed information about the tumor's location, shape, size, and progression. However, interpreting complex MRI data requires advanced technologies, prompting researchers to explore computer-aided systems for assistance. The project highlights the significance of leveraging artificial intelligence, specifically machine learning and deep learning techniques, to assist doctors in making more informed diagnostic decisions. While deep learning methods such as convolutional neural network have demonstrated remarkable performance in various domains, applying them to medical imaging poses challenges. The limited size of medical imaging datasets contrasts with the large datasets like ImageNet. To address this, the project discusses the use of pre-trained CNN models, transfer learning, and fine-tuning approaches to adapt deep learning models to the specific challenges of medical imaging. The project introduces SSCLNet. Which is a self-supervised, contrastive loss-based pre-trained network designed for brain MRI classification. Leveraging self-supervised learning based on contrastive loss, the model is pre-trained to enhance feature engineering. Objective of the project: the primary objective of the project is to propose and implement a self-supervised pre-training method for brain MRI image. The project aims to improve feature engineering, feature learning by applying data augmentation techniques to the MRI dataset. The deep learning model is exposed to a diverse range of augmented data, facilitating robust feature extraction. This step contributes to the development of a more effective representation of the important features in brain MRI images. The primary aim is to develop a robust binary classification system that accurately distinguishes between benign and malignant brain tumors. This involves training the model to recognize key features indicative of tumor malignancy, ultimately assisting. In crucial diagnostic decisions on the healthcare professionals, the project extends its focus to multi-class classification by categorizing brain tumors into specific subtypes, namely pituitary, meningioma, and glioma. This objective aims to enhance the diagnostic capability of the model, providing detailed information about the specific tumor type present in individual, which is vital for personalized treatment planning. Employing the self-supervised pre-trained method, the project aims to enhance. The classification performance of the model for both binary and multi-class scenarios. The project seeks to systematically evaluate the performance of the proposed self-supervised pre-trained model compared to alternative initialization strategies such as random initialization or using pre-trained. The focus is on demonstrating the superiority of the contrastive loss-based approach in capturing meaningful features for the brain MRI classification. To implement the project, we need software and hardware requirements. Coming to software requirements, we need application of Anaconda, primary language of Python, front-end framework of Flask, back-end framework of Jupyter Notebook, database of SQLite 3, front-end technologies of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap. Hardware requirements are operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, and hard disk of 25 GB and above. To implement the project, we have designed various steps in the flow of work. The first step is importing the packages. In this initial step, essential software libraries and packages are imported into the project environment, and we have imported NumPy and Pandas for data manipulation, TensorFlow for deep learning, SQLite for machine learning, and Flask for web development. The next step is exploring the dataset. This phase involves analyzing the dataset, which is brain MRI classification. And two types of classifications which are considered are binary, which is distinguishing between two classes which are benign and malignant. Multi-class is categorizing into specific tumor types which are pituitary, meningioma, and glioma. 
Before diving into the main task, an exploratory analysis of the data set is performed. This step involves examining the structure and characteristics of the brain MRI data to gain insights into its distribution, potential outliers, and general patterns. The next step is image processing. Image processing is applied using an image data generator tool that generates augmented images to enhance the data set's diversity and improving model generalization. Here, we rescale the image, which is normalizing pixel values into a consistent scale. Shear transformation, introducing shear transformations to enhance model robustness. Zooming the image, applying zooming transformations for varied perspectives. Horizontal flip, introducing horizontal flips to diversify the data set. Reshaping the image, adjusting the image dimensions for the compatibility with the chosen model architecture. Building the model. The model architectures, layers, and activation functions are defined in this step for both the binary and multi-class classification. Training the model. The constructed models are trained using the pre-processed and augmented data set. This involves optimizing model parameters to minimize prediction errors and improve the accuracy using BAP propagation and optimizing algorithms. Flask framework with SQLite for sign up and sign in. Here we implement a web framework using Flask, which is a Python web framework, and SQLite, which is a lightweight database engine. This facilitates user registration and authentication, allowing users to sign up and sign in securely. User upload image for analysis. Here, users upload brain MRI images through the web interface. Pre-processing. The upload, uploaded image is pre-processed using the same steps applied during the model training to ensure consistency. Prediction. The trained model is employed to predict the outcome of the uploaded image based on the binary and multi-class classification task. Final outcome is displayed. The final prediction is displayed to the user through the web interface, providing insights into the analyzed brain MRI image. Algorithms which are used in the project are ResNet 18. ResNet 18 is a specific variant of ResNet architecture that consists of 18 layers. It includes a combination of convolutional layers, batch normalization, activation functions, and shortcut connections, which are residual blocks. It is chosen for its balance between depth and computational efficiency. It provides sufficient capacity for feature extraction while being less computationally intensive. ResNet 34. It is another variant of ResNet architecture consisting of 34 layers. Similar to ResNet 18, it incorporates residual blocks with a deeper architecture. The next algorithm is ResNet 50, which is backbone of SSCLNet. ResNet 50 is a deeper variant of ResNet featuring 50 layers. It introduces additional residual blocks and it is known for its superior performance in capturing intricate features. SSCLNet is a novel deep learning network designed for the classification of brain MRI images. It stands for Self-Supervised Contrastive Loss-Based Network. The architecture leverages self-supervised learning, specifically contrastive loss for pre-trained on the unlabeled data. This pre-train aims to enhance feature learning by exposing the network to augmented instances of the dataset. SSC LNET utilizes ResNet as its base architecture, known for its ability to capture both low and high level features. Why ResNet architectures in the project? Because ResNet architectures leverage residual connections that allow for the direct flow of the information through the network. This helps mitigating the vanishing gradient problem, enabling the effective training of very deep networks. The deep architectures of the ResNet models are well suited for training, for learning hierarchical features, which is crucial in tasks like image classification where objects have varying levels of abstraction. Pre-trained ResNet models on large datasets like ImageNet can be used as a starting point. This enables the project to leverage the knowledge gained from a diverse dataset for improved feature extraction in the medical imaging domain where labeled datasets are typically smaller. As an extension, we applied an ensemble method that combines the predictions of multiple individual models, other deep learning model to produce a more robust and accurate final prediction. Also as an extension, we built front-end using Flask for user testing with user authentication. We have used accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score to evaluate the project. And these are the performance metrics. So here we have comparison graph for the binary classification. Binary classification is a type of machine learning task where the goal is to categorize data into two distinct classes or groups. The two classes are often denoted as positive and negative, which are zero and one. So here in the project, 
models are built to categorize brain mri images into two classes typically distinguishing between benign and malignant so here we have accuracy comparison graph here on x axis we have accuracy score for each algorithm and on y axis we have algorithm names accuracy is a measure of the overall correctness of the model it calculates the ratio of correctly predicted instances to the total number of instances This is precision comparison graph. It is the ratio of correctly predicted positive observations to the total predicted positives. It evaluates the accuracy of positive predictions. This is the recall comparison graph. Recall is also known as sensitivity or true positive rate. Recall measures the ability of the model to capture all relevant instances. It is the ratio of correctly predicted positive observations to the total actual positives. This is FN score comparison graph. It is the harmonic mean of precision and recall. It provides a balance between precision and recall, especially when there is an imbalance in class distribution. Here we have comparison graphs for the multi-class distribution, which is multi-class classification. Multi-class classification, on the other hand, involves categorizing data more than two classes. Each class represents distinct category, and the model must assign each input to one of these multiple classes. In the project, it is constructed to classify. Brain MRI images into multiple classes representing specific subtypes, which is tumor subtypes like pituitary, meningioma, and glioma. To execute the project, first we need to open the code folder which contains source code files. This is the code folder of the project, and here in this folder we have binary data set, which consists of two class labels which are yes and no. Similarly, we have a multi-class data set also. Here you can observe that there are four different class labels, and we use these data sets for training the algorithms. And here we have a training folder and testing folder. We use training folder to train the algorithms and testing folder to evaluate. This is the static folder. This folder consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap. And here we have templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. it typically includes files like index.html about.html etc which represent different pages of the website this is the app.py file this .py file contain the information related to front end logic it includes code written in python that handles server side operations such as processing user request interacting with the database and generating dynamic content that to be rendered in the html templates these are the model files which contain the algorithm information and that will be loaded into the project code during runtime and these are the ipynb files which are the jupyter notebook files which contain a combination of code graphs and outputs all in one place it allows users to write and execute code in individual cells making it a popular choice for the data science this is the sign up file this file is the database file used to store the user information Now we need to copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. So I'm copying the path. And now we have to open the Anaconda prompt. Using the cd command followed by the space we need to paste the copied path and then click on enter. So here we can see that current directory is changed to the code folder's path. Here we need to type the command python space app dot py and click on enter this will compile app dot py file and it will execute a python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues after running the app dot py file flash framework will host the application locally at the default address which is the local host and the port unless configured differently This is the local host, and this five thousand is the port. Now we need to copy this local link provided by the framework and paste it in any web browser. So I'm copying the link. I prefer Google Chrome, so I'll paste it in that. Here we need to paste the link and then click on enter. This is the web page of the project, which is displayed in the browser, and this web page is built by using the Flash framework. Here we can see a sign up link. First we need to click on that. And here we need to enter all the sign up details if we are signing up newly. I have already signed up. I have an account in it, so we'll directly click on sign in. Here we need to provide our username and the password. So I'm giving my username and the password. And now click on sign in. 
we have signed in successfully and we are redirected to prediction page. Here in the prediction drop down, we can see two things which are binary and multi class. As we build the project for two predictions which are binary and multi class, so first we will do the prediction of binary. So under prediction, click on binary. Here we can see a choose file button. We need to click on that to upload the images, which are the brain MRI images. So I'm clicking on choose file. Here we can see two data set folders, which are binary and multi. Now we are doing classification for binary. So I'm opening binary folder. I'm selecting the first image. Now click on open and now click on upload. So here we got the prediction as for the uploaded image, it has predicted as the patient don't suffer from the brain tumor. Now we will upload one more image. So go to prediction, click on binary, click on choose file. I'm selecting the third image, click on open, click on upload. So here we got the prediction for the uploaded image as the patient is suffering from brain tumor. Now we will do the prediction using multi-class classification. So click on multi-class classification under prediction. Click on choose file. Get back to the code folder. So from the multi-class data set, I'm choosing the first image. Click on open and now click on upload. So here for the uploaded image, we got the prediction as the patient is suffering from the brain glioma tumor, which means the patient has brain tumor, which is of glioma. Now we will upload one more image. Click on try again. Click on choose file. I'm uploading the third image. Click on open. Click on upload. Here we got the prediction as the patient is suffering from the brain tumor, which is meningioma. Now we will upload one more image. So click on try again. Click on choose file. I'm choosing this image. Click on open. And now click on upload. So here we got the prediction based on the input image as the patient don't suffer from the brain tumor. Now we will upload one more image. So click on try again. Click on choose file. I'm choosing the last image. Click on open. And now click on upload. So here we got the prediction as the patient is suffering from the brain tumor, which is pituitary brain tumor. And now click on sign out. In this way, if you upload the brain MRI images to the system, the system will predict whether there is brain tumor or not. If the brain tumor is there, then it will detect which type of brain tumor it is. Conclusion of the project. The project introduced a novel self-supervised learning approach leveraging contrastive loss for pre-trained on brain MRI data. This innovative method enhances feature learning and contributes to improved classification accuracy. The developed models demonstrates effectiveness in both binary classification, which is benign versus malignant, and multi-class classification, which is pituitary, meningioma, glioma. This versatility enhances the diagnostic capabilities of the system across diverse brain tumor types. Through the use of advanced image processing techniques, including data augmentation with the shear transformations, zooming, and reshaping, the project optimizes the pre-processing of brain MRI data. This contributes to a more diverse and representative data set, improving the robustness of the models. The choice of ResNet 50 as a backbone architecture for SSCL net proves to be effective, providing the depth need for capturing intricate features in the brain MRI images. This architectural choice contributes to the model's ability to learn hierarchical features and achieve superior classification performance. This project is designed to significantly benefit healthcare professionals and patients alike.
by providing accurate and detailed brain tumor classification the system assists doctors in making informed diagnostic decisions enabling timely and precise treatment plans patients benefit from more accurate diagnosis potentially leading to improved treatment outcomes and personalized healthcare strategies thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.